हेलो फ्रेंड दिस वीडियो इज द क्विक रिविजन ऑफ चैप्टर ट्वेल्व सर्कल्स पार्ट टू सो लेट एस स्टार्ट विद एक्सरसाइज ट्वेल्व पॉइंट टू एन सी आई टी क्वेश्चन नंबर वन फाइंड द एरिया ऑफ ऑफ ए सेक्टर ऑफ ए सर्कल विथ रेडियस सिक्स सेंटीमीटर इफ द एंगल ऑफ सेक्टर इज सिक्स डिग्री डायरेक्टली यू टू फाइंड आउट द एरिया ऑफ सेक्टर एंड द एंगल इज गिवन टू यू सिक्सटी डिग्री एंड दे टोल्ड यू फाइंड आउट इट्स एरिया एंड द रेडियस सिक्स सिक्स सेंटीमीटर सो डायरेक्टली यू कैन फाइंड आउट दिस विथ थीटा अपॉन थ्री सिक्सटी इन टू पाई आर स्क्वेयर थीटा इंस्टेड ऑफ थीटा यू टू टेक सिक्सटी बाई थ्री सिक्सटी इन टू पाई दैट इज ट्वेंटी टू बाई सेवन एंड देन सिक्स इन टू सिक्स ऑन द प्लेस ऑफ रेडियस एंड देन यू कैन सॉल्व मूविंग टूवर्ड्स क्वेश्चन नंबर टू फाइंड द एरिया ऑफ ए क्वाड्रेंट ऑफ ए सर्कल उस सर्कम फरेंस इज ट्वेंटी टू सो दिस इज योर सर्कल एंड वट दस क्वाड्रेंट मीन्स क्वाड्रेंट मीन्स वन फोर्थ पार्ट लुक यर इफ आई कट इट इन टू टू दिस पार्ट इज कॉल्ड द क्वाड्रंट वन फोर्थ पार्ट ऑफ सर्कल इज कॉल्ड क्वाड्रंट बट हियर वी आर नॉट हैविंग रेडियस दे सेट दैट द सर्कम फरेंस इज ट्वेंटी टू सो वी आर हैविंग सर्कम फरेंस सो डायरेक्टली सर्कम फरेंस फॉर्मूला इक्वल्स टू सर्कम फरेंस ऑफ सर्कल टू बाई आर सर्कम फरेंस दैट इज ट्वेंटी टू Two into twenty-two by seven into radius. First, find out the radius with the help of this. Twenty-two into seven upon two into twenty-two equals to R. Twenty twenty-two will get cancelled. R will be equals to seven by two. So here we got radius. Now with the help of radius, you can find out this. But what will be this angle? This angle will be ninety degree. This is one fourth part of three sixty. So three sixty divided by four. So your theta will be ninety degree ninety by three sixty into pi r square. Or directly, if you want to take one by four, then also it's okay. One by four into pi r square. Then also you will get the area of this quadrant. Now next thing, the length of a minute hand of a clock is fourteen meter. Find out the area swept by the minute hand in five minutes. Look it again. A circle. This is your minute clock and one more small. Minute hand of a clock length of the minute hand. So this is your minute hand, and one more is there. Now they are telling this minute hand swept five minutes. So what is the area swept by that minute hand clock? How you will come to know how much degree is this? We know the, if this whole angle is three sixty degree, and if it covers whole, that will be sixty minutes. So sixty minute. So sixty minutes. Is equals to six three sixty degree. So five minute is equals to how much? Directly cross multiplication. Five into three sixty by sixty. You will, this will get cancelled and six will come here. Five six that thirty degree. So this will be thirty degree. If you don't know, you can remember sixty minute three sixty degree one minute. It will be equal to six degree. How many minutes are there? Directly multiply that with six. If they tell you twelve minutes, then twelve six are. If they say fifteen minutes swept, directly fifteen six are. This is one of the most important question I had seen many a time. They are asking this type of question. So here yeah, thirty degree, five minutes, so five six are thirty thirty degree. Now they had given the length of the minute hand clock that is fourteen centimeters. So you are having radius, you are having theta. Can you find by theta by three sixty into pi r square? So this way you can find out that. Now, a chord of a circle of radius ten centimeters subtends the right angle at the center. Find out the area of the minor seg segment and major sector. Use pi equals to three point one four. Here you have to use pi equals to three point three point one four. Again, circle, right angle at the center. A chord subtending right angle. So this is ninety degree. Now. This radius ten centimeter, and they told you to find out this minor segment and major sector. For major sector, you have to do this ninety degrees. So theta minus three sixty minus theta upon three sixty into pi r square. So three sixty minus ninety two seventy degree will be this two seventy by three sixty into pi r square. You can find out this major sector, but for minor segment. You have to first find out the area of this whole sector, that is ninety by three sixteen two pi r square. Then area of this triangle, here it's ninety degrees. So I to explain you in my previous video that whenever ninety degrees, they directly half into base into height. 
one radius will become height and one radius will become base half into 10 into 10 you can cancel directly half into 10 into 10 so this will get cancelled 50 so the area of triangle will be 50 out of from this area of sector subtract this area of triangle you will get the area of this minor segment so this way you can solve this sum a chord of, of a circle of radius 15 centimeters substance and angle 60 degree at the center again here 60 degree is there same thing chord substanding but now it's 60 degree so when 60 degree is there i told you to find the area of this triangle by equilateral triangle formula that is root 3 by 4 a square look here they had given the value of root 3 also so you have to keep root 3's value as 1.73 and then you have to solve and instead of pi you have to keep 3.14 again the same thing minor and major segment of the circle so minor segment find out the area of sector then area of triangle then subtract area of triangle from the segment and sorry sector and then you will get this minor segment and for major segment find out the area of circle by pi r square and then subtract whatever answer you are you had got here from that circle you will get the remaining part so this way you can solve this now moving towards next question a chord of a circle of radius 12 centimeters substand an angle of 120 degree at the center find the area of the corresponding seg segment of the circle again i too I told you in my previous explanation that whenever 120 degree is there first you have to make a perpendicular line and you have to make it this as right angle triangle and use trigonometry this is 60 degree now they had given radius also that is 12 so you are having hypotenuse if you want to find this you can find out with the help of opposite by hypotenuse sign you can find out this by cos 60 this by sin 60 this by cos 60 find out and that will be height and base from that area of triangle or sorry from that area of se uh, sector subtract this area of triangle by half into base into height you will get this so this way you can solve this sum moving toward question number eight a horse is tied to a peg at one corner of a square look here a horse is tied here corner of a square shaped grass field of side 15 this hole is 15 meter by mean of 5 meter long rope so here it is it is tied with so the radius of this part will be 5 meter if they, they told you to find out this part directly you can find out with the radius 5 and this angle will be square field is there so this angle will be 90 so 90 by 360 into pi r square you can find out this but for the second part the increase in grazing area if the rope were 10 meter long instead of find 5 sorry so now look here now what they told first they this was 5 meter now the rope length of the rope increased so now it will reach somewhere here so i had done this now what is the problem they said how much part is increased you have to find out this like what we had done in finding the area of ring that you have to directly you cannot find this what you have to do first you have to find out the area of this whole segment taking theta 90 and radius as 10 then you have to find out the area of this minor sector then from this major minor this is also minor sorry from this whole sector subtract this smaller se sector you will get this part so this way only you can find out this and they told generally what i have to see students are taking radius 10 and finding this whole part no they had how they had asked us how much part is increased so you have to find out this much part only you don't have to find out this so for that first you have to find out this whole then you have to subtract this inner part from that so you will get the area increased so this way you have to solve this sum now moving towards next question a brooch is made with silver wire in the form of a circle with diameter 35 millimeter the wire is about uh, wire is also used in making five diameters which divide the circle into 10 equal sector as shown in the figure the total length of the silver wire used so first total length first you have to find out the circumference of circle look here circumference of circle only one wire is there you are thinking don't think that two two wires are there only one wire is there and the length of the wire so circumference of this 
then plus five diameters how many diameters are there one two three four and five diameters are there so total five diameters you have to take circumference plus five plus five diameter that will be the total length of the silver wire used that you have to keep in mind then area of each sector means area of this sector how you can find out the area of each sector what will be the theta we know the whole is 360 and 10 parts are there so divide by 10 360 divided by 10 this will be 36 degree so 36 divided by, upon 360 into pi r square we know the radius diameter is 5 so radius will be 2.5 and this way you can find out the area of this sector moving towards the next question an umbrella had eight ribs which are equally spaced assuming umbrella to be a flat circle of radius 45 find the area between the two consecutive ribs so you have to this is the flat part they had used now you have to find the area of this sector so actually eight it is divided into eight parts so directly 360 by eight so that will be your this angle and the radius is 45 take r 45 and this theta by 360 divided by 8 you will get this theta again area of sector that is theta by 360 into pi r square then you can find out this a car has two pipe wipers which do not overlap each wiper has a blade of length 25 centimeters sweeping through an angle of 115 degree find out the total area cleaned at each wipe of the blade to kill the car is having such type of fiber but the problem is generally I had seen student this is 115 degree they are and the radius is 25 centimeter what they are doing they are finding the area of this sector and taking that as answer no in car two blades are there so you first you have to find out the area of this sector and then multiply with two then only you will get the whole area so please keep in mind that now to warn ships for underwater rocks a lighthouse spreads a red color light over a sector of an angle again the same thing this is your tower and lighthouse is spreading light like this from here it is going here and there and the distance is 16.5 kilometer radius so the radius will be 16.5 kilometer and the angle is 80 degree find out the area of the sea over which so you have to find out this area theta by 360 means 80 by 360 into pi r square radius will be 16.5 now next question a round table cover has six equal design as shown in figure six if the radius of the cover is 28 centimeter find the cost of making the design at the rate of rupees 0 0.35 centimeter square use pi equal, use root 3 is equals to 1.7 so you we have to use this why they had given this because look here we have to use root 3 now you have to find out this six part area but first you have to find out the area of one part how you can find out actually this six are equal parts so what will be this angle six parts are there and this total is 360 degree so, so 360 divide degree divided by six this will be 60 degree so it will form an equilateral triangle and the angle here will be 60 degree so this angle is 60 degree now the radius that is 28 28 first you have to find out this so how you can find out area of sector minus area of this equilateral triangle you will get the area of this segment then multiply that area of segment with six because six designs are there then multiply that with cos that is 0 0.35 centimeter square so multiply with 0 0.35 so this way you have to find out the area or the cost of whole design please this is one of the most important question and the last question area of a sector of angle p of a circle in which radius r so directly theta by 360 into pi r square but here 360 is here so but theta by 360 angle p but into pi r square area is there but here it's 2 pi r so this is not going to work pi r square is there but here 180 is there so this is also not going to get 2 pi r not going to work pi r square and 3 but here you can cancel this 2 will get cancelled and here it will come 360 so pi by 360 into pi r square so this is our answer so this way you can solve the second exercise of 12.2
now in my next video i am going to ex explain 12.3 quickly so thank you so much for watching my video if you like it please subscribe to my channel so that i can make more such videos thank you so much